Welcome back to Hungry and Out Time. No, no. Okay, we're, man, I, you gotta okay, come in go here. Okay, go grab some water free. before you choke. Meanwhile, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Well, if I told you what it was, I wouldn't get that reaction. I know. So, here we go. We're gonna charge in. We're gonna, before we go and actually take care of the plot, we got something else we gotta do. We gotta go, we gotta hop back on a horse. Man, I feel so spoiled how you're able to land on a horse in Breath of the Wild, and now you can't, yeah. and, and, you know, back then you couldn't do that. Well, nope. you say that right now, just imagine how bad it is for the horse having oh, that sudden mate. weight just hit its poor back. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, there's also the matter of fact that, like, you know, Awkward at Time was still very much the, um, oh, hello. Hey, newcomer. Oh, yeah? Uh -oh. Hello. Yeah, goodbye. But, um, what was I about to say? Like, you know... Horseback riding was still, like, at its bare basics here. Like, we didn't... This was before we learned how to actually sword wheel with, with, on the horse. Or, you know, just hop on the horse, like, from the air. You have a fine horse. A fine horse. Fine <laughs> I don't horse. know where you stole it from. But, okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. <laughs> I thought I was about to say, once the horse starts galloping, shoot the horse. <laughs> God. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score a thousand points, I will give you something good. Mm. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Eh, why oh not? yeah, I want to point. I want to point out something. And they made a little mistake in the original. When you first meet her, she says, "Do you want to try again for 20 rupees?" Uh, they, uh, they they fixed it in this version. But yeah, go for it. Oh Ooh. crap! Ah. Oh well, that's what... recording curse. Lower. Oh, aim lower. <laughs> lower. Hit the giant target. There you go. Again, another case where the gyroscope would have been a really big benefit towards you. So, is it, um, what was I going to say? So, what's the score we got to go for? 2,000? 1,000. Oh, just 1,000? Oh, that's no, not no, too bad. Not too far off the mark. And there you there go. There we yeah, go. See? There you go. It's all good. The fact that, I don't know why, I just find it funny, the fact that that, that theme, that mm. freaking jingle literally plays like twice when Sorry, you Sorry, Logan. Wait, what happened? She didn't go for the country twang. Anyway, yes, we did it. We are a true master. <laughs> Keep proving yourself. Keep proving yourself. By, by, the, by the way, uh, Garuda to Gerudo, where'd you steal that fine horse? <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. You, you okay. have to talk to her while, while you're on Epona. Alrighty. How specific? Alright, so we gotta so go for 1500 points now. So a new goal, 1500, and try again. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm down. Sorry about all the booming in the background. If you guys didn't hear it, my, my mom's alcohol no. neighbor just came over. No, I didn't hear that. You're fine. So now, we're, now what? Do we just have to get a higher? We just have to get a higher score than what we got before. No, we have to get 1,500 points this time. Oh. So, I mean, I guess since we're already here, and I mean, this is there technically the game that properly introduced us to the Gerudo tribe. Why don't we go a little more into detail about them? They are a... They're an ancient desert living race that... Uh, women only. Women only. Except ex for one man every born... One man born every hundred years. And that Dang is it. rats. And whoever is the... And whatever man is born in that hundred years just automatically, whoosh, just becomes the king. Which, yes, as people have prop... People who... Adults who are probably putting two and two together realizing how does that work. Uh, they actually talk about... I forget where. If it was in Hyrule Historia or in... Some book, there you go, uh, or if it's in some book somewhere, but they talk about, or maybe it's like one of the one of the truths, one of the stones of truth talk about it. But apparently, it is like actual common knowledge or something that like the way this works is Gerudo women will just go into Hyrule ca Castle Town and be like, okay, come with me, and they just grab yes. somebody and it's like, all right, you're coming with, yeah, you're, you're going, you're coming well, over to the Gerudo Fort. The Gossip to Stone says they go to Castle Town to look for boyfriends. So they have to have some type of courtship. I yep. really feel like that's a localization thing, and maybe. I mean, of course. We... I mean, yeah. If we were gonna go for the logistics here, they to they totally just they literally just pulled them by their hair and. I mean. I became... mean, they explored it more in Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, no, saying. they definitely did, and I do appreciate what that with Breath of the Wild. Like at that point, like Garudas have become a far more, dom for lack of a better word, domesticated species or excuse well, me, race. And species. I just, I'm, I'm sorry. Fifty I, I, arrows. I, but yeah, they, they become a far. They, they become far. They become far less, you know, hostile to outsiders, even though they still have that whole rule of no vows in the premises. Right. There's a tradi There's still I, some traditions to keep up, but they. I know you don't want to talk about this, James, but they were really docile in Four Swords Adventures. Well, to really? be fair, Four Swords Adventure, they were kind of just, you know, there. There. 
Yeah. Well, they're chill, and I and I, I they're chill, and I like that. By the time Breath of the Wild comes around it, again, like the Gerudo aren't evil. They typically like they actually like resent. They're just misguided. Well, oh, well, yeah. the very well, the very least, like around this point and like games after it. Um, most of the time, whenever you talk to them, they you hear that they like they resent Ganondorf for going all like like they liked them, like, they liked living in the desert. They didn't want to conquer the whole world. I like to think that secretly they <clears> don't <throat> they don't want to obey him, but they don't have a choice. Well, it's tradition. Well, yeah, it's he like, pays our it, dental. It, no, that's all right. Hey, Ricky, are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. And you can't bring your fine horse. Uh, uh, the first try was the river of sand. You can't walk across this river. <coughs> Hover boots. Yeah, After could. you cross it, follow the flags we placed there. The second trial was the phantom guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. Oh. Yeah. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. I mean, you are a vo after all. <laughs> Just. All right. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, like. You know, back, like, in its early, in their early years, the Gerudo were a far more, you know, sheltered, no, 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 sheltered, no, 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 more like, you know, they were, they were very cross with outsiders, aside from those that can actually prove themselves, like Link just did. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. And then you got Breath of the Wild, where, I mean, again, I, I, they made it to a point where, like, pretty much anyone that's not a, a not a man can still enter their premises, but, like, even if they're, like, there, you find, you'd find the occasional Garuda, like, walking out, I'm like, sinking. beyond their, their lands there. Oh, we are sinking. Crap. Oh, look at that. Well, should why we, aren't we doing anything? Should we do something? We should, we do, should something. do something. Should... I knew you were going to reference that. Well, we gotta do something. Put on the dang boots. There you go. So, yeah, well, just... You can not walk across the river. This is just fast. I mean, yeah, oh. naturally. So, so, I mean, now we I, guess that, flags. I guess with that said, yeah, I, I, I think we've pretty much exhausted all of our Gerudo knowledge for one day. I mean, that's about it. Like, they're, they're, like <clears throat> there are, like, very cool, like, individuals in the Gerudo. Like, typically ones that are given names and are not I just known as Gerudo. Wait, huh? me? Oh, oh, this dude. Oh, this guy that's just suddenly flying here. Well, come. I am sound stuff, strange and rare from all the world, everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Oh, it's bomb shoes. Terrifying. Bomb shoes. I just love the idea, like terrifying man. Whatever you do, don't say you don't believe in magic carpets. Why? I don't believe in magic carpets. Oh no! And they just sink. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, he's not on the cast list. Oh, I guess you forgot. Oh well. Oh, oh well. Oh well. So yeah, what? basically, he's just telling telling us that. Well, head to the spirit temple, stupid. Alrighty, let's do it. He didn't have to be so rude. Gosh, every time I swear. Also, it's hard. It's hard, to, it's hard to tell from his model, but he. But it looked like. But I think. But he has a full-on like really big hair and beard, and beard combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or mustache at the very least. Right. I, and he's a swordsman instructor in Majora's Mask, which doesn't make much sense to me. Yeah, because he doesn't even wield a sword. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Either. Yeah, that's now, okay. this is where it gets tricky. What's up? Where's that other flag? Yeah, I can't see a damn thing across this sandstorm. There it is. Uh, is there any way we can, like... Is there any way that we can, like, stop this? Or any way that we can, like, make it be easier to see? I, nope. Not even... I'm pretty sure that would have been a case where the Lens of Truth would have been helpful. Uh, yeah, but you don't actually need the Lens of Truth until after we get out of here. Well, even then, it's still, it still help. It still help, it helps help you see farther away. Not really. I mean, not really. I mean, it's supposed to see, show the truth, even past, even past, past such things that fall, that if, sees past the wool in your eyes. That is the sandstorm. That's not what the ones of truth is meant for. It's meant for the second part. Well then, well, I mean, granted, this is only for an optional, optional little thing. Which kind of think of why did you come here in the first place? I came here to not only get the scotola, but to take a break from the sand and rest my eyes. I mean, I guess yeah, when okay. you put it logistically, that makes sense, but, you know. Okay, now we can leave. Oh, okay. And also, also, it's your checkpoint, so if you get... Or, wait, no, never mind, it's not. No, you still end up at the beginning if you get lost. Mm -hmm. So, coming here was completely pointless. Oh, really? All this time? Damn. Yeah, because I definitely don't, no, I don't is, remember... No, this is what here. the Lens of Truth is intended for. Oh. 
Well then, one with the eye should be guided. One with the eye shall be guided to the spirit temple by an inviting ghost. Oh wait, never mind. You do have to come here. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm your guide. Come chase me. There he is. I mean, the way I see okay, it, maybe. Okay, the only way to go. So follow me and don't be slow. Slow punk. Right. But uh, yeah, you know, I think maybe it just looked harder to do, hard to do that because you know Seely was lollyganging at the very beginning, so the sandstorm just got worse, so it was harder to see that flag. A little. Hey, don't put this all on me. You're the one that's playing the game, Seely. Who else can I put it on? It's gotta, <laughs> it's gotta be somebody here, and I'm not, I'm not controlling the spectral entities that guide across the desert sands. I'm not the one. Oh with the yeah, script. be careful you don't run into him. If you run into him, you will void out. The ghost? Yes, I learned that the hard way one time. What is he fucking oh. made out? What is he made out of? Um... Purple juices that kill Mario in an instant. He just slaps your hands. Look, don't touch. <laughs> and just void out entirely. Oh my god. Okay, can you pick at least a straight path and not this circly route? I know, I hate it. They just do that shit just to test your metal. I know. This can be done without the lens of truth. It's just very difficult. Oh boy. And the path is very specific. But with that, I do believe we're pretty much done. Thank oh God. Did you notice I did that without getting hit once? All right. And just now, like, during all the zombie ends, you just hear, like, in the background, just going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sand. Jeez, your mic <laughs> peaked a little bit there. The Jeez. Desert Colossus, we've made it. Whew. Now, where can we get some water in this place? Um, in here. Oh. I actually... Oh, so... I honestly... You know what? Kind of a blessing in disguise, because, like... Well, maybe not so much Link Rinku here, but I certainly needs that water. Well, I, I was talk I was just joking about the fact that, you know, Link just went through a sandstorm. Odds are some of that's gonna get into his mouth. Oh, hold <laughs> the phone. I just realized this is where we get our last spell. Uh-huh. Let's do it. <laughs> and, you know, I think we're, there, we're they're a little late on the draw there to show us this little thing, so... Well, not really, and I'll tell you why later. If you say so. But, like, you think it would have been nice to have gotten the spell earlier? Maybe. Well, you didn't have enemies that dealt four hearts worth of damage until this next temple. Oh, okay. Welcome, yeah. Ninku. I am the Greed Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. I mean, I don't know. I, I just find it fun, so funny, because the first two spells you got relative, like relatively close to each other, and then you get this last one that's literally something you only get, like, the last third of the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm serious when I say that there are enemies in this game that deal four hearts worth of damage if they hit you. So this is useful. You got Neighbor's Love. Cast this to counter, create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. You unlocked your neutral special. Thank much. you. Wait, not Zelda's that. Zelda's neutral special. So use it carefully. Get away from me. <laughs> I was just expecting her to put, literally smooch the screen right there. No, too close. Too close. Too close. Don't touch me. I'm sterile. What do you think? What would you think? No, no, no. The camera's zooming in on her face. Too close. Too close. Too close. Hey, I was about to say, what do you think? Another year of boating school. <laughs> what do you think would have touched first? Her nose or her lips? Nose. Nose. Boy, what a big nose. But, uh, Look at what he uses. 12. Uses MP12. Yeah, that is Look a lot. Look at how much. That, is a lot that uses a butt ton of magic. I've never. I will say right now, I've always, like... I've never, like, actually, like, looked at the magic bar. Not in Zelda, anyway. I've never looked at the magic bar and thought, Oh, this is, this, I have 50 mana. Like, it's just, it's just a shape to me. Like, oh, how much of the shape is filled up? Yeah. Or, you know, some numbers, right, some numbers right next to the, mat, the meter would help. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we've come to the Desert Colossus, and inside this, uh, this, uh, giant statue of a pretty, pretty lady should be our last dungeon. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something real quick. What's that? I'm gonna kill all these guys and then watch this. Okay. You know, you could take, you know, you could take off those boots now. Here he is! Oh, hello, what the guy. heck is this? A king? A, lever. a king the, lever? The big something boy! Like that. Oh, you get, wow, that... You get a lot of loot, rupees for your troubles. I you get, he sometimes gives you a red rupee. I, I never knew that And besides, guy. I wanted that to wear off before I entered the temple anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's, Just, yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that, dude. Favorite temple. Here we are. And, uh... Ow. Well, let's get started. 
<laughs> All right. If you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. Oh. Oh. Crap. Mm. Yeah, we're actually kind of stuck one here. On this side says. Yeah. If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of Stover from the past. So we need oh. to do the past section first. Shit. Oh well. Well. Let's weave say it. Say Oh well, wait. Well, how are we gonna get back here? Oh wait a minute. I think I hear another another double casting roll on the horizon. Wait, how is it double casting? Oh, were you originally going to be here anyway? Cheek? Oh, my bad. I, I mixed past, you. I mixed past, I mixed present, future. I mixed she I mixed so Cheek up with Naburu. Oh, I'm already Naburu anyway. Oh, so. then no double casting here. Okay. <laughs> the port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. Technically it is double casting if she's voicing both of them. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. To be fair, it's almost Listen like she was there a lot of other spirit. characters in this goddamn game. This, mm -hmm. <laughs> this money will lead a child back to the desert. You're one to talk, James! Aww. Well, to be fair, we all have have multiple roles, so it's like... Well, is double casting really that big of a deal? Aww. Yeah, exactly. Why are we even yeah, about this again? Uh, hmm? What? What? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's my point. It's like, so, wait, then why are we arguing about this again? I forgot. Good question. <laughs> I forgot about that, but yeah. Oh, hey, look! What's up? Hmm. Not too bad, I guess. I guess he's, he's literally just sitting there, leering at you and judging, judging your ocarina skills. Hmm. Well, no, he can't better, be. Big. I could play better with both, with both feathers behind my back. Ooh, well, actually, no way that's impossible, because according to Seely, it's impossible to play this off-key, apparently. Yeah. Thank you. The nice little gentle bowing. You're gonna do that weird poof th poof away thing, aren't you? Yeah, most Not likely. Not exactly. Oh, jeez! Twist! Mind twist. Oh, God. Notice how Link actually tried to go up towards her. I want to know who you are. I have to try. Okay, moving on past that joke. We're going to go. <laughs> We're done with that joke. We're going to go back to the past so we can start this dungeon, which. Wait, why are we going back to Lake Hylia? Wait, yeah, this isn't the Pretty Little Light. What the hell are we doing here? <laughs> I mean, granted, I mean, granted, it would be done. This oh, is oh, why. Oh. I mean, yeah, you I guess want... it would be a shorter way to get, get to here, would it? You wanted the yep. horse? To. No, I came here. Okay, watch this. Okay. It's a sign. No diving. No diving allowed. It won't do you any good. Trust me, yeah, I tried. You'll, you'll break your noggin. That sign won't stop me because I don't know how to read. Also, <laughs> okay, for a moment I was going to be like, why are you still wearing those boots? You've been wearing them for a long time. Why didn't you just use the cuckoo as a child? And Okay, break the box. Are there even cuckoos in this area? As a child, yes, there are. When you're a child, yes. But yeah, that's, that's just okay. more convenient than you. Than you than okay, more now we're going back to the temple. Okay, all that, all, all that. We just came here for fucking chump change. Yeah. We're, it was a piece of heart. We're actually pretty oh. close, right? We actually are pretty close to getting all Did our. Did you hearts. not see the piece of heart I just got? It was twenty dollars. You know what? In th in this economy, pieces of heart may as well be chump change. That's I control enough. your paycheck. It's petty change. <gasps> <laughs> On that note, folks, see you all for the next part where we pretty much have our last stand as young Link. Yep. Yep, pretty much. See you guys later. Till next time. Bye-bye. He finally truly will grow up.